Hey there, we'll be taking a look at how to create and edit membership plans for your website. Before we get started, it's important to note that there are two aspects to setting up membership plans. There's creating the membership plans themselves, which we'll be covering in this video, and in another video, we discuss how to edit your pricing page, which you can see here. This is the page on your website where visitors can decide which plan they want to sign up for. The information displayed on your pricing page is completely independent from how you set up your membership plans. This page is not automatically updated. So once your membership plans are all set up and finalized, you'll then want to watch our video that explains how to edit this pricing page to make sure all the features and benefits you've included in your plans are communicated accurately to your prospective members. Now that that's out of the way, let's head into our website's admin area, and in the left-hand menu, we'll navigate to Finance and Membership Plans. This is where we can view all of our website's membership plans. There's no limit to how many your website can have, so you can create as many plans as you'd like. But most of our users start with somewhere between one and three membership plans. There's quite a bit of information displayed here at a glance, so let's break this page down column by column. We'll start with the second column, Plan Details. Here's where you can view the name of your membership plans, the plan IDs, and if the members within these plans have free or paid accounts. In the first column, Actions, we have a button that will take us directly to the signup page for each membership plan. What's great is, once you set up a membership plan, the signup page for that plan is automatically created. So you can grab that signup page URL if you need to send somebody that direct link, or link to the signup page for a particular membership plan from another page on your website, such as the pricing page. We also have an edit button that we'll click in just a moment so that we can actually edit one of these membership plans. And we have an actions dropdown where we can clone a membership plan, move members from one plan to another, email the signup page link to someone, or delete the plan. Now, if there's a red button that says signups disabled, that means that users cannot sign up for this membership plan. This is one of the options you can set when editing a membership plan. The third column, members, displays how many members are registered within each membership plan. You can click this number to view all of the individual members within a specific plan. A dollar amount is also displayed below this large prominent number. This dollar amount is the total revenue that the individual membership plan has generated. The fourth column, post publishing, displays all of the post types that the members within each plan can publish. Column five, Pricing displays the price that the members within a plan are charged when purchasing leads, how much the one-time payment costs, and how much the monthly, quarterly, semi-yearly, and yearly subscriptions cost. If no prices are displayed in this column, that's because a membership plan is free to sign up for and purchasing leads is free as well for those members. And the final column, Search Rules, displays whether or not members within a plan are searchable on the front end of your website, the priority they have when displayed in search results, and how many categories they're limited to be listed in. All right, now that we have all that covered, let's edit one of these membership plans. We can change the name of the membership plan here at the top of the page, and we have a button in the upper right-hand corner that will take us to the signup page for this plan if we need to grab that URL or just want to make sure the signup page is looking as expected. Below the plan name, we have several tabs containing various settings, signups and upgrades, profile page, members dashboard, which is where members are directed to after signing in, search visibility, and post publishing. Membership plans have several dozen settings that you can configure to really fine tune each plan and offer valuable upgrade options to your members. Because you have so many settings at your disposal, we won't go through what each one does, but we will discuss some specific items. First, each setting has some help text that will give you a brief description of what the setting does. If you want a detailed explanation of each setting, I highly recommend taking a look at our written documentation in our support center. Our team does a great job breaking everything down in there. We do also have a search filter in the upper right hand corner. If you know specifically what setting you're looking for, but not sure exactly where it's located in here, you can type a keyword and be presented with all of the relevant membership plan settings. Okay, so probably the most important setting, whether a membership plan is free or paid. That's the first setting here in the signups and upgrades tab. If the plan is paid, you can set a variety of payment options, monthly, quarterly, semi-yearly, yearly, and or a one-time setup fee. Also in this tab, under signup settings, you can choose to disable public signups for the plan and choose an email template to send to new members after they sign up. You can use the default welcome email template or create your own email template and select it here. 
The Profile Page tab has plenty of settings for you to display or hide certain elements on member profile pages, such as their contact information and other page elements. The Members Dashboard tab contains settings to choose which items are made available to members within their account after signing in. Search visibility is where you can set whether or not these members are searchable on the front end of your website and set their search results priority among some other options. Search results priority is an important setting. Members with a higher priority will display in search results on the front end of your website above other members who have a lower priority. Generally, higher tiered or more expensive membership plans will have more visibility or publishing abilities than the lower tiered plans. Speaking of publishing abilities, that brings us to the last tab here, post publishing. Posts are pieces of content such as discussions, articles, events, photo albums, properties, and more. All you need to do here is check off which post types you want to allow these members to be able to publish on your website. And at the top of this list is member specialties. This is what we refer to subcategories as. If you want to allow these members to be able to list themselves within subcategories in addition to their top level categories, you can check the box here to activate this feature. Otherwise, if you only want these members to be listed in a top level category, you can deactivate this option. So there's a brief overview of membership plans. Again, keep in mind that after you finalize your membership plans here, you'll then want to edit your pricing page to make sure all the features and benefits you've included in your plans are communicated accurately to your prospective members on the front end of your website. And we have a separate video that shows you how to do just that. If you have questions, please reach out at any time. Our team is always happy to help and support you.